Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from BIWay. If you're finding us for the first time, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with new videos from BIWay. In this new video, we'll see how to create a drill through button in Power BI reports. So let's get started. In the last video, we saw how to set up drill through to get an expanded view of an entity information. We created a target page in our report that focuses on the product category entity. When the drill through is set up, you right click a data point in a source report page to access the target page to get details, or you can use the modern visual tooltips. But those methods are not obvious to users, that's why there is another way to drill through using button which gives a nice experience to users. To set up drill through button, we need to create a button with the drill through as the action type and select the drill through page as the destination. Let's add it and change its action to drill through. We select drill through, then choose the destination page. Let's change the shape of the button and add a text to it. Power BI automatically generates tooltips for the button based on the destination and drill through field. When the button is disabled, the tooltip displays to drill through to product category details, select a single data point from product category. And when it is enabled, we can see control plus click to drill through to product category details. We can provide custom tooltips if needed. We will see that later on this video. Let's try the button. As you can see, the target page is filtered. We can pass filters on additional fields by cross-filtering the visuals that contain the drill through field. For example, using the control plus click and cross filtering, we can pass multiple filters on continent. We can pass multiple filters on continent to the drill through page. As you can see, the continent selection is passed to the target page. We can use conditional formatting to change the button text based on the selected value of a field. To do this, we need to create a measure in Power BI Desktop that outputs the desired string based on the DAX function selected value. Once the measure is created, we select the conditional formatting option for the button text. I have already created an example of a DAX measure that outputs C details for the selected product category if the product category has one value, otherwise it outputs C product category details. Let's add it to the conditional formatting option for the button text. As you can see, the button text changes based on the selection. Another point is that we can customize the formatting options for the disabled state of drill through buttons. So let's quickly add some formatting options when the button is disabled and when it is enabled. We have many options like border, shadow, glow, text, and more.
As you can see, the result is this nice button. We can also conditionally format the tooltip for the drill through button when it is enabled or disabled. Let's see how to set up the tooltip for the button state to be more informative based on the end user's selection. Because the drill through button has two states, enabled and disabled, we see two tooltip options. I have created this measure which checks if the user has selected a single product category, the measure returns control to drill through to product category details to see more details on sales for the selected product category. We will add it to the enabled text and disabled text. As you can see, we have formatted the tooltip using a condition. The last thing I want to show you is that we can use conditional formatting to set the drill through destination based on user selections. For example, if we have multiple destinations, product category details and continent details that users can drill through to we can have them select a specific destination to drill through before the button becomes enabled for that drill through destination. To set this up, we will start by creating a single column table with the names of the drill through destinations. Verify that the entered values exactly align with the drill through page names. Let's quickly create the second drill through page. We're going to duplicate the product category details, then rename it and add fields to the table visuals. and then add the continent name as a drill through field. After we've created the table in the source page, we add it to the page as a single select slicer. We can convert it to a drop down. And let's change the header text to be more descriptive. Now we're going to add a drill through button.
For the destination, we have this measure that returns the selected value of the target page based on the selection. As you can see, when we select a product category and set the target page to product category details, the button is enabled, otherwise it's disabled. Let's format our button. We're going to use the same formatting options as the first button using the format painter. Nice, it's formatted. Let's try the button. We are coming to the end of this video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, post them in the comment below and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with new videos from BiWay. See you in the next video.